on this episode of Carnage, we've got a 2JZ. No shit. Pop the hood. Pop the hood? Pop the hood. 2JZ engine, no shit. And what did I tell you? So here it is, the 2JZ, the engine that launched a thousand memes. I mean, it was made famous by Fast and Furious. Um, you know, 2JZ will destroy all. And we picked up this engine for a thousand bucks when we thought we hurt the Trilbo engine way, way, way back at the start. What happened actually was the Trilbo engine collapsed its oil filter, had low oil pressure and that wasn't great for it, but we changed the oil pressure, oil pressure came back and we raced it and raced it and raced it and ran 10s and then ran 9s and yeah, it was amazing. That little 1JZ was a great motor. However, obviously our oil pressure problems with the 1JZ in terms of like it was doing high G launches and all the oil was rushing off to the back of the, uh, the engine, yeah, that kind of helped it to an early demise. So now we have this 2JZ that we've had for ages. Like I said, we paid a thousand bucks for it. It is an NA motor, so non-turbo motor. They have weak rods, especially in this VVTI format. Like the earlier 2JZ had stronger rods. The turbo and the NA engine in the non-VVTI had the same rods. Later on, they go to VVTI. Turbo engines got great rods, the early rods. The NA motor got weak rods. So, we can't use the engine as is. We have to put rods and pistons in it. And we're gonna do this on a budget, and I'll show you those rods and pistons in a sec. But we're also gonna do 1J head on it and make it a 1.5J. Now the reason behind that is you put the 1J head on it, which flows still pretty good, but you can keep all your manifolds the same because Toyota in their wisdom decided to make all the manifolds different across all the motors, all right? So the NA motor has a different manifold to the turbo motor in terms of like the bolt spacing. You know, the exhaust is different again, you know? So if we were to use this engine with this head on it, we'd have to buy all new manifolds and everything, and it just costs money. So why not put the 1J head on it, which bolts on with a minor modification and then we can use our hot side the same, our cold side the same. It'll all line up with all our intercooler piping, which we've all spent money on, and it will run good numbers and it'll have a three litre capacity and make excellent horsepower. Yeah, it's gonna be great. This will decimate all after you put about 15 grand in it or more if we have to overnight parts from Japan. So as I said before, we're gonna do this on a bit of a budget. So we've got a set of rods and pistons there from Gerardo at GeForce Racing Solutions. They are 2JZ turbo rods and pistons, all right? So factory turbo rods, factory turbo pistons. Yes, they are secondhand. However, they were worked pretty good for our setup. Uh, we've got brand new ARP rod bolts there to go in there. We've got brand new rings and bearings and all that as well. And um, yeah, so we'll clean these up and we'll use them in our 2JZ bottom end. Now people make great power with these things, like a lot of power. It's not unheard of to make a thousand horsepower on a stock bottom end 2JZ around with standard rods and pistons. That Obviously they don't live a long time at that level, but it's possible. We're not going for a thousand, but I figure 800 would be nice. Now there is a standard 2JZ rod. That is the big rod out of a green top for a barra. And you can see the 2JZ rod is significantly larger. So you can see why these things make a lot of power. So yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Floating rods and pistons, I mean, it's all good. So, we've gotta pull down our 2JZ, get rid of all the junk, and then build it up into something awesome. Let's get started. Okay, so lots to do today. It's going to be stinging hot, so I'm gonna to have to turn on the fan, like they reckon maybe 38 degrees today. That's gonna to be hot. And we've got a lot to do. We've gotta pull this all the way down to a bare block, basically. So let's get rid of all the junk, starting with the wiring loom.
I'm barely started and my hands are black already. You can just imagine the title for this video. Scotty strips a dirty 23 year old Japanese girl down to her bottom end. First shifter action of 2023. Beautiful. Wow. If you're just looking by eye, you'd go, wow, that gasket is pretty much the same. But when you actually lay it on there, it is just not even close. You know, it's all over the shop. Yeah, it's not even close to matching. Yeah. Oop, we got a leak. Where's our drain pan? I haven't actually checked to see if there is oil in this motor yet. It's, some's probably full. Let's see if it's got oil in it. Oh yeah. That looks a whole lot better, but we're not finished yet. We're gonna take the whole front end off, head off, so cams, head, all that, flip her upside down, rods and pistons out, even the crank. Yep, we are going all the way. All right, we got the big ugga dugger. Turned up to the max. This is the uh, highest impact Ryobi we have in here. And we probably want to set it to undo. All right. Yes. If you've ever had to remove a JZ balancer bolt, you'll know how impressive that just was. Wow, made short work of it. Wow, that's actually uh, quite clean inside, which is really good. So if you remember back to when we first popped the covers off the 1JZ, you'll know that it was crusty as hell inside. It was disgusting. And this is actually really nice inside. So hopefully that means the engine was actually pretty good even though we're not actually using anything from this engine except the crank and the block um, still it means it's not a total turd but yep we're gonna keep digging keep pulling get this thing all the way down lots more to do because this engine has VVTI only on the intake cam it's a little bit different to say the 1JZ. So I've got to remove the VVTI solenoid, then we're going to remove this little cap 
from the end of the, the cam and then the bolt for the actual camshaft for the cam gear is actually under this cap. So we'll start by removing the solenoid. So now we're up to the head bolts, which is going to be fun. So you require this special head bolt tool. All right, so it's a spline drive, 12 mil, because the bolts um, sort of, they're not Allen keys and they're not hex heads, they're spline drive. So very specific to the JZ. Thankfully, we had one from when we did the head studs on the 1JZ. So yeah, I hope they're not as hard to pull out as the 1JZ ones were because, man, they were in solidly and I thought we were going to uh, maybe strip some. So hopefully it all goes well. Yeah, not too bad. Oh. I uh, spoke too soon. This one is in. Oh, wow. Tight. Oh, Jesus. I need a longer bar. That's what she said. First one for 2023. Wow, might have spoken too soon. That is especially crusty inside. I mean, it's not rusty on the bores or anything, but holy crap. What is that on top of the pistons? That is insane. Let's get the vacuum cleaner out. Ugh. So, unlike the turbo engines, these only run a single layer metal gasket, not a multi-layer. So obviously we will not be reusing that. All the turbo ones use uh, multi-layer steel. So yeah, wow, I, I really don't even know. I mean, obviously it's carbon build up on top of the pistons, but it was all lifting kind of a, its own accord and I don't even know why. Yeah, I really don't know. But anyway, yeah, doesn't look to be any, you know, damage in there. Actually, you can see hone marks in the bores still, which is really promising. So yeah, that's pretty good. All right, I guess we need to flip her over. Pull the sump. Okay. 
I am your father. <laughs> All right, let's see how much of a mess we can make. Oh, hello. Every time. Ah! Now it's time for rods and pistons to come out. Um, as I said before, the only parts that we're really using out of this engine are the block and the crank. The crank is the same as every other 2JZ crank. They're all pretty much the same. So this one will probably actually be better for us than a turbo car because it's probably made no horsepower and it had very little abuse. So the crank will be good for us. Same with the caps shouldn't be too heavily abused you know like if you get a turbo engine and it's been turned up to 11 most of its life then the caps are going to be all fretted and and weak you know which are, are a little bit of a weak point with these engines when you turn them right up so we'll stay with the main caps as they are at the moment we'll stay with the block we'll stay with the crank we're changing the rods and pistons one of the big differences between a turbo motor and an na motor is the na motor doesn't have oil squirters at the top sort of squirting down to the squirting the underside of the pistons basically so yeah but not really necessary for what we're doing anyway bearing's not too bad about what you expect Gunge at the top of the bores. So no guesses there for what's NA and what's turbo. You know, the turbo rod is significantly thicker. Yeah, nice and girthy. Also what she said. But, but yeah, so you can see why we tossing these in the bin and using these ones. So just running my fingernail across the bearing journal, the rod bearing journals, and they feel really good. Nice and smooth. Nothing catching the nail. So yeah, yeah, I think uh, I'll measure it up, make sure they all mic up nicely, but I don't see any problems with that. So basically, we're going to do the rebuild very much like we did our budget barra rebuild in that we took an NA barra motor, chucked away all the rods and pistons and stuff like that, reused the crank, reused the block, did a garage hone on it. That's what we're going to do with this. Garage hone it, new bearings, new rings, make it all sweet as much as we can without machining it and put together this 2J bottom end, which we'll show it the way you guys would do it at home if you had that capability. So basically this should be something anyone could do. Put together a nice clean 2J bottom end by yourselves. And then we're gonna go the extra step in that making a 1.5 JZ with the 1J head on it. We'll show you what's required for that, but you'll see that on a future episode of Carnage.